viewers we're back in action and today we're gonna run into the Andrew Edlin gallery and we're gonna look at a beautiful show by Susan Tay Karangi King well I uh, just came across these works by Susan at uh, the Outsider Art Fair. I guess it was in the spring. And uh, I was impressed. These are actually new pieces. These are trays with plastiline. And uh, so she's taking the colored plastiline, rolling it up in little balls and sticking it on these trays like beads. Anyway, uh, I saw the work then and was very impressed. And uh, well, there's a lot of works in the show, so I'm not gonna give you the titles. I'll just maybe rough out a few dimensions. But uh, I think these pieces are, let's see, from the late 60s. 67. This is one of the earlier pieces in the show. This is 1961. Anyway, uh, Susan, I guess, is from New Zealand and uh, it's also from 1961 and that is graphite and colored pencil and paper eight and a half by thirteen and a quarter inches. And uh, it's a nice colored piece. I guess Susan had some developmental problems, maybe, but uh, she started drawing, and uh, I believe this piece is probably about 10 by 8 inches, 1965. Well, one of the things that's great about this is that uh, she gets a great, uh, very subtle tonality with her graphite, and uh, She's got a fabulous line. I thought this was especially nice one. This is eight by well, nine by eleven inches, and uh, yeah, those very subtle grays and uh, could be a little violet or lavender color pencil she's in there. It's just fabulous. Anyway, I guess that she was working and. Uh, as a child or adolescent, maybe young adult. And uh, at some point, uh, they wanted to uh, get her involved more with uh, institutional medical care and uh, the people who were trying to uh, help decided that it would be better if she stopped drawing so I guess she stopped for about 10 or 15 years. And these are some of the pieces that I'm very impressed with because she, not only is she a great drafts person but uh, she's got a wonderful color sense and uh, even some of these strange figures in the way that she's twisting, turning, pulling and stretching them is fabulous. This is untitled 1978 graphite and crayon paper, 23 by nine and a half inches. And, uh, oh boy, this is great stuff. It's also graphite and crayon paper from 1978. 
Now, as I understand it, I just heard the uh, receptionist say that this is Susan's first presentation in a gallery, and uh, she was saying that so none of the works are for sale. Uh, I like this one too. It's great the way that, uh, I don't know whether that's from age or whether just she had fat, stubby crayons, but the uh, the forms have kind of uh, degraded in that section, but uh, and you have the very nice, clean drawn section down here. Anyway, so this is her first major introduction to the New York art world, and uh, I think the show is great. more straight graphite on paper and uh, it's like this is just out of a sketch pad maybe. Now I'm a big fan, I always have been a big fan of outsider art and uh, I don't know, you go to the Whitney Biennial, you go to the Jeff Koons exhibition and you see works of art that probably cost uh, tens of thousands of dollars to fabricate, but then you look at something like this and uh, realize how great it is. And this is done for pennies. This is untitled 1965. And, uh, yeah, some of this makes me think of Peter Saul. Other work makes me think of de Kooning. Yeah, and another artist that I was uh, thinking about looking at this was uh, Knox Martin, one of my old teachers from the Art Students League. It's 1965, and I love those fish heads. You know, I also like the uh, the rugged, stained old paper that she was using. And uh, she's got a fabulous line. These also look like they were just uh, taken out of a sketchbook, maybe. Oh, this is beautiful, the way that uh, she's using the page. And that's got kind of a lead texture on the paper. Maybe some of the seven dwarfs, I don't know. These have got some very subtle colors, and uh, oh, I haven't seen this before. She's got some text in there. Dentist. <laughs> These are all from the early to mid 60s. some of the, the notebooks. Oh, these are beautiful. And uh, whenever I see a display like this, I, uh, I have to restrain myself because I don't want to go over there and flip through the pages. Oh, that's especially nice. Well, it looks like um, 
Susan was fairly prolific. She's got a lot of uh, books. This is nice because she's got a very limited palette that she's using the lilacs, pinks, violets. Oh, this has got to be very early. Okay, so this is Untitled Sketchbook 1960. Graphite and colored paper, colored pencil, 15 by 19 and a half inches. This is James Combe reporting on Susan T. K. Rangi King, Drawings from Many Worlds, Andrew Edmund Gallery, 134 10th Avenue, and Chelsea. Thank you, Kate. Oh, thank you. You guys have a name? Uh, no. Okay. Anonymous.